uh, impassioned woman. She was. You know what I mean? She was also. Oh, we lost the light. Uh, we lost the light. It's That's okay. Right. Don't worry about it. Listen. Too many irritations today. We were annoyed. <laughs> Very annoyed. I'm annoyed at that fucking line. <laughs> For sure. We're not joking about it. We're not joking. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we've had a really tragic week this week. Yes, there's been tragedies, but there's been good announcements. And so ups we and have- Ups and downs, ups and downs. Yeah. Hey, life is a roller coaster, baby. I know, I know. Yes. So yes. the big news of the week has been that we lost Olivia and John. A legend. An icon. Yes. Huge news for Australia. This is a national tragedy over there. Oh, I can only imagine. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. Now, tell us, tell me about what your experience with Greece was. Because when I was growing up, whenever there was like a rainy day at school, uh, or you had to be inside for some reason, the teachers would always just throw Greece on. Oh, really? So I was watching that thing at least once every two months. Really? Yes. And it was like just this thing of like this American crossover with an Australian superstar, but also like cross cultures are happening. So uh-huh, it's like, you uh-huh. know, sort of like wholesome entertainment. It's based about going to high school. Right. Okay. So let's see how it all fits in. So it was all just like this, the safe thing to what make kids watch. And it's yeah. fun. Like it's a oh, movie. oh, of course. All the songs and everything. Yes, of yeah. course. Of course. I don't know if, I mean, I, I didn't grow up like that. I mean, I think I didn't watch Grease until, you know, I was in my teens probably. Mm. And I probably only watched it through completely less than a handful of times. Oh, really? So I really was, I was not into the Grease, but I was definitely into Olivia Newton-John. And I'll tell you why I was really into Olivia Newton-John and mm. it had none to do with Grease mm. <laughs> or Mariah for that matter. <laughs> Because she did do so much more, yeah. you know, uh, even now, like watching some of these news stations um, do sort of retrospectives on her, mm-hmm. you see how big her career was before Grease even came around. Oh, yeah. So she was like Grammy winning songs galore. Like she was singing it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yes. And then Grease happened. Right. So for me... I mean, I knew Greece, but what I really knew was that music video of hers, Let's Get Physical. Yeah. Because I was like, that is homosexual and I love it. Very campy. <laughs> very campy. The men in the gym. Yes. But, and back in the day, also very scandalous as well. Beyond scandalous. So, some places wouldn't even play that video. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and so yes, it was very a scandalo, but I loved it. Like whenever, like I would see it, like pop up, and this is probably like late '80s mm-hmm. by the time I saw it, because like you know we didn't really grow up with MTV, but I'd see it here and there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh yes, show me more. What's going on? <laughs> Where are the boys? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's what I remember the most. Yes. So yeah, it was also number one the weekend I was born in 1982. Get out of here. Yes. Yes. Look at that, mm-hmm. Olivia. Yeah, so that's that's my sort of like, that's what I remember the most. Mm-hmm. But also Greece, of course. Greece is the iconic. Yeah, I want to say that Greece not on. I don't know if it's the same level at the time, but Greece was probably for her that moment that Whitney had with the bodyguard, where now mm. she's a mega star all of a sudden. Like everything changes. Yes, the, the career was there, but now it's been escalated. Yeah, like you're now not just like a regular household name Mm -hmm. you're at like the top of the list of household names right yes yeah and influential look at all the people that you know pay tribute to her mariah carey one of the greatest Mm -hmm. singers in the world Mm -hmm. is paying tribute to her all the all the australian girls are paying tribute to her as like you know the inspiration and the icon and everyone's trying to um be like her Oh, of course. But she's also just such an enjoyable person to watch and watch all the interviews. Yes. I mean, that is another thing about her is she was just so nice. Mm -hmm. Like she is that like, you know, nice mom on the block. She is. That just everybody loves. You know what I mean? Just civilized and sophisticated. Yes. She was a civilized, sophisticated and, you know, and. Uh, impassioned woman. She was. You know what I mean? She was also. Oh, we lost the light. Uh, We lost the light. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Listen. (laughs) Hey, <laughs> uh, she was also moguling in Australia a lot. Like oh. she had a range of water, not water, actual water. She didn't try to poison us like some people did <laughs> with all the sugar. No, it was regular water. <laughs> and she was still at the airport too. Oh, really? Yes, she was smart. All right, Some girl. Water. She was doing it, and she had wine too. <gasps> Do you know what? You know what? She was. <laughs> she was doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is where I get the ideas from Mariah from. But it worked. 
Yes, it was. absolutely. It, it you was. have to brand yourself in, in many different ways. You know, another thing that I was reading about her, and I, I think it was the physical album, mm. that whatever that album was, um, she was one of the first what they called like visual artists where she put music videos and like they played it on television. Oh, like she did like videos for all the songs, very like, um, you know, Beyonce Lemonade. Really? That's what they said in this article. Oh. I mean, I don't have any proof, but that's what they said. I didn't realize that. Maybe it's on YouTube somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. But like she was like ahead of the game in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people think she's just the girl from Greece, but she's so much more, mm -hmm. so much more. Yeah. Yeah. And that performance she did with Mariah. I kind of. Uh, yes. Love it. Yes. So that was in um, Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, 1998 Butterfly Tour. It was. And it's on the Around the World. Yes. It's uh, captured. It is. And you know what's funny? I remember back in the 90s when I guess I saw Around the World. I saw that part of the, <laughs> of the tour. I remember thinking it was kind of cheesy. Oh, really? Just because it was back then. You know, Greece was kind of overdone at that point. Um, I don't think the nostalgia of Greece had kicked in because mm. I was like getting out of school having to watch it for a thousand a million times. So I was like, whatever, Greece. Who cares? Yeah, you're like, okay. Um, but now I'm watching it like this week. I'm like, wow, it's so good. It is so good. Mariah sounds amazing. I mean, Mariah was singing, girl. Singing. Singing. Yeah. No, I think that was like that for me because I think I wasn't so like into Greece. I thought that was a great moment. I was like, oh my God, like, of course, mm -hmm. like perfect match yes you know and of course mariah's loved her you know for many years and all that kind of stuff because you know the video heartbreaker mm -hmm. when she's like watching the video screen in the movie theater and yes. she has that short wig on yes that's a scene from greece a recreation yeah yes. a recreation like people i don't know people if people know that or not but like yeah, that yeah. definitely it wasn't a recreation the scene isn't with olivia newton john it's with that other character who like you know was making fun of you know sandy yeah, what's that song called? Like, look at me, I'm Sandra D. Yes, that uh -huh. song. Yes. That's the song. That's the song. But yeah. they're in the. But if they're in the. Whatever Mariah's doing in the Heartbreaker video, that's what they're doing in the movie. Yeah, they're like jumping, jumping on the bed. bed they're fun. all in their like pajamas, making fun of. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is there's two versions of that part. It's when Jay Z is rapping. We see it, right? N no, when Jay. Well, when, not when. J yes, it is during the rapping part. Wait, pause. So we're talking about Mariah Carey's Heartbreaker video. Uh huh. Within that. Uh -huh. The scenes that Mariah recreated of Greece that are on the television screen, on the movie screen, on the movie screen. Yes, in the video, <laughs> in the video. <laughs> Girl, it's a screen and a screen and a screen. Layered, it's layered, it's layered. <laughs> but so she does these two scenes of classic television or classic movies. Mm -hmm. One is from Greece, mm -hmm. and the other is with Jay Z when he's in the hot tub. Yes, from like Scarface. Right, and again, Mariah's in that short wig. But that's the video version that a lot of people don't see. That's the rarity. That's the rarity version. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the one that everyone sees on YouTube is the Greece version. Right. Yeah. So we love that. So both well, so Greece and Olivia are, you know, integrated into Mariah's influence. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I also remember during the butterfly tour, Mariah talks a little bit about the butterfly tour on the Rosie O'Donnell show when she goes there. Mm -hmm. And she talks about how Olivia Newton John came backstage with her daughter and they were, you know, it was so nice and everything. But I also remember first hearing about that sort of encounter backstage in Australia in like one of the newspapers or like what were they called? Um, the, tabloids? the tabloids. They had pictures of uh -huh. Mariah, Olivia Newton, and uh, Olivia Newton John and the daughter. There yeah. was pictures. Uh -huh. And I wish I could find them now, but I remember seeing them in the tabloid and I was like, well, I got to rip that <laughs> out and put it in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Olivia has been around. She's part of. Uh... Part yeah. of the culture. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a huge loss. Uh, you know, I think I there's a really good piece, uh, an interview with her recently from, I think, 2019 with Gail King. Yes. Talking about the cancer. Uh, you know, she's she was at that point was still managing it. Like she, they weren't able to get rid of it, but she's a big advocate for medical marijuana now. Mm -hmm. She found that's really helping. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. And it. wasn't at one point um, her husband or her boyfriend was growing the marijuana for her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Honey, she was in house production. I know. I know. Uh, look I at know. her. <laughs> she had that ranch. Why not? Just grow your own. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, yes, yeah, she was doing good. And again, she had her foundation. Yeah. Um, and all that. So she was always giving back and doing good things because she was, again, just the nicest woman. I know. I uh, know. So heartbreaking. I know. John Travolta gave the tribute mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. he, I feel bad for him. He's been losing a lot of people. And, you know, and his hair, but. Yes, but that's been, that's been gone. <laughs> yeah, that's been gone. I mean. <laughs> Oh yeah, exactly. But I mean, that's, I listen, this is what happens when we all grow older, yeah. you know, it's just, it's just a part of life and it's, it's sad, but she made a great impact. Huge so. impact. She fought long and hard. She had the, mm -hmm. she had the first diagnosis a long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. she really, she's a trooper, made honey. Through, yeah. She made it through. That's how it goes. And, you know, more power to her, her soul. Do we want Mariah to do like a cover? official cover of any of her songs mm, i mean maybe but i think what we have is already it's is, right. is, is good enough you know what i mean yeah yeah we have it from because here's the other thing a lot of people don't know like you see from around the world that she and olivia newton john did hopelessly devoted to you but also in new york at the z100 concert where mariah was wearing just a tiny little bikini oh with the g-string hanging with out? the g-string hanging yes. out yes they also did it there as well but there's like less footage of it. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if I've heard vocals from that. Yeah. I mean, there's there's just a couple of clips out there. Um, but yeah, it's not the whole, I don't have the whole performance, but there's a couple of clips. And also, I think that's the same night that she went and recorded the My All Stay A While music video, or she just borrowed that same outfit because that's what she's wearing in the music video too. Oh, and, and the, the same hair. And the, um single cover mm -hmm. yeah 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 oh you That's think she it. went straight to the apartment yeah why party? not girl she went to the house party right after singing with olivia newton john <laughs> yeah yeah i guess <laughs> Yes. So, I mean, that's another little known tidbit, but also when she was doing the one to infinity tour in Vegas, I think is um, mm -hmm. another time that they were together. Oh, but we can't even forget about the time when Mariah was at the American Music Awards and Olivia and John introduced oh, her. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, love it. Yes. Love it. Mm -hmm. They've love been that. hanging out. They're friends. Girl, they go way back. They love each other. There's lots of clips of Olivia doing interviews talking about Mariah as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, they love so, each other. Uh, oh, poor Mariah. Her heart is broken. Uh, I know, I know. She did a, a great little um, tribute on on the social media for Olivia and john so that's cute. Oh, should we read it? Yes, let's read it. Why what did she it? say? Okay. We gotta let the people know. Otherwise, you know, they gotta look it up themselves, but we could do a forum. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's what our job should be. I mean, we are the report. Right. I mean, come on. Okay, so Mariah says about Olivia, I first fell in love with Olivia's voice when I was a little girl and heard I honestly love you. Oh, that's a good mm -hmm, song too. Mm -hmm. Songs like Magic, Suddenly, and Have You Never Been Mellow showcased her beautiful airy tone and signature sound. And then there was Grease. I was obsessed. I dressed up as bad Sandy for Halloween in fifth grade. Oh, the outfit. That was the scandal. Oh, outfit. yes. Oh, yes. Those pants. Mm -hmm. uh, I dressed up as bad Sandy in, for Halloween in fifth grade. And I thought I was everything. Years later, the one and only Olivia Newton-John actually walked out on my stage in Melbourne, Australia. And we sang our hearts out together to Hopelessly Devoted to You. This is a moment I will never forget. I was, why did I just get chills? That would have been a huge moment <laughs> for Mariah. Feeling it. Yeah. Because imagine little Mariah in her Halloween costume mm -hmm, telling mm -hmm. her oh, one day you're going to be singing <laughs> in Australia with Olivia. Um, I was also blessed to be in her presence on many other occasions. And she was one of the kindest, most generous and lovely people I've ever met. She will be missed. She will be remembered. She will be loved. Olivia, I honestly love you. Oh. Oh. So sweet. I so know. So sweet. Damn it. A moment. A moment. So, yeah. She's yes. gone. I know. But yeah. her legacy lives on. Yeah. Uh, someone's making fun of Greece uh, recently saying, what kind of message was that? Like, one minute you're the wholesome good girl, but if you want to get the guy, you got to turn into a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> you get him. 
I was like, yeah, well, that's what you're going to do. I mean, look at the girls now. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's what you're going to do. Say, hey, that's that's just the world we're in. But isn't it interesting how, like, uh, her wearing those skin-tight black pants were, like, this scandal of all scandals back then? And, and the now cigarette. it's like, Oh, and the cigarette and yeah. all of that. And now the girls don't even wear pants. Oh, uh, yeah. But you know what I mean? I know. And nobody says anything, you know? It's normal. Times have changed. Yeah. But we like we like change. But do you <laughs> so. see how like Olivia was a scandal back in the day? Mm -hmm. The the physical video. Yes, honey, she was a headline maker. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Did you ever watch Xanadu? No. It's interesting. It's one of the like I'll I mean I've heard what, I've actually, heard the music from it, but no, I've never watched it. I would put it in the same bucket as Glitter, maybe. Okay. Like, okay, it's not like Shinless List, but whatever, it's fun. It's fun. It's cute. Yeah then it's watchable exactly <laughs> as far as i'm concerned um but uh rest in peace olivia like she will be missed definitely she will, be, will missed. be missed um but i think we should take a quick splash break we'll come back with other festive mariah news we'll get festive with it guys we will The Mariah Report is supported by podcastcbd.com. Use the promo code REPORT to get 10% off of any purchase and free shipping on orders over $50. Dan, I'm so excited to bring this product to our listeners because it's something that I've been taking for a while now. And at podcastcbd.com, you can get something called Wild Gummies. They come in the raspberry flavor. They are delicious. Now, I've been hearing everybody in the streets talk about CBD this, CBD that, and I have no idea what CBD is. Think of it as a natural compound or even as a supplement that you add to your health regimen. So CBD is something that your body makes naturally, your brain makes it, especially after you exercise. And so taking a gummy uh, gives your body a boost. And I actually used to be a skeptic until I realized that I was doing it completely wrong. Well, how? what were you doing wrong? How are you supposed to do it right? So when I first tried it, I was just taking like one dose. I wasn't even measuring how much I was taking. I just tried it and hoped for the best. And really nothing really happened at all. I didn't feel anything, didn't do anything. So I just thought it was bogus. However, somebody explained to me that what you need to do is measure how much you're taking. So for example, the gummies, the wild gummies, they are 25 milligrams a piece. And then so you know the, know the dose and then you take it daily to get the benefits. And what are the benefits of these CBD gummies? So the main one for me is that I used to have horrible sleep issues. I couldn't get to sleep, couldn't stay asleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night. I wasn't falling asleep until 2 a.m. It wasn't good. So I started taking these to help with that. And I found it really did help me fall asleep earlier. And I was able to stay asleep and I was waking up refreshed as well. That was the main benefit of it. And I also found it really helped with my anxiety that I had. It's brought me back from an anxiety attack several times. It kind of just takes the edge off it. Again, nat completely natural. And then the shocking thing that happened was it really cleared up a lot of my joint pain after a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. And unlike taking a Tylenol or something like that, that just covers up the pain and temporarily relieves it, it actually got rid of the inflammation in, in my joints. Well, these benefits sound real yummy to me, so I might not need to go get some of these gummies. Yeah, so make sure you head over to podcastcbd.com, use the promo code REPORT to support this podcast, The Mariah Report, and get yourself some premium lab-tested hemp CBD products. Okay, welcome back. We're here reporting the news about Mariah Carey, and we actually have some big news, but before we get to that... A funny little tidbit we should throw in. Yes. Uh, so I, I think I said it on this show, maybe it was on our Patreon show uh, that we do, which, by the way, if you haven't joined, like head over there. It's a good time. It supports this show. We need support. And you get all the juicy gossip over there. That's it, the stuff. Yes. And there's content <laughs> too. So, you know, it's not like live. There's a ton of back catalog you can go listen to as well. Hours of entertainment. Hours. However, at some point I was talking about, and it wasn't just me, but there was I was talking about how when I was in New York, there was a Mariah friendly bar that we love and still oh, love yes. called Rise Bar. Yes, we love Rise Bar. Love Rise Bar. They play Mariah content all the time on the video screens. I think I was complaining because we didn't have a Lado video mm. available and they were playing all the new girls. And I was thinking this would be the perfect opportunity to throw in the Mariah Lado remix. Right, right. On the video screen. But there's no video. Right. And at the same time, I didn't see any Mariah clips <laughs> played. Uh, 
And so I declared that they're no longer Mariah friendly. However, I got a message from our friend, friend to the show, Emily McNamara, who hosts karaoke there every Tuesday at yes. Rise Bar. Yes. Uh, and she issued a statement <laughs> that she, it is Mariah friendly. It's still a Mariah friendly place uh, and that I'm incorrect. And so, well, you have been corrected, girl. I have been corrected. <laughs> you have been corrected. It is a Mariah friendly bar. They were always playing Mariah. Yeah. I guess we just don't go there often enough now. Right. To like see. But yeah, I think I, I stand by my statement. If Mariah had something new, they could throw it on. And I'm sure they would. Uh, yes. Yes. If there was something but new. But there's nothing new. Exactly. So like, let's get it together, girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's the newness? <laughs> yes. Because you know, right now, I'm sure it's all Beyonce all the time in there now. Oh, I mean, well, maybe rightfully so. Like she, she's new. She's got something she's new. She's got new <laughs> stuff coming out. She's banging out the good content. Yes, yes. Because, okay, a big hot topic was that Beyonce did the Queen's remix with well, Madonna. Yes, yes. Of Break My Soul. I think it's fabulous. It's pretty good. It worked out really well. It, I mean, that's how you do it. Yes. And I think if Beyonce were to do something like that with Mariah's, like, old classic songs, mm -hmm. like, think of, like, what if she were to bring something like Honey? That's the that's the hot suggestion. Oh, I is think, it? That people are saying in oh, the streams. Well, that could be really good. Or like, even like, because you know, a, a general public fan favorite is always be my baby. It's not? No, it is. Oh, okay. I, so I, actually, am so, I lying? No, no, actually, it's so funny because I went to a store today and I walked in and they're playing always be my baby. Oh, it's a general public I filmed fan it favorite. just for evidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's a general public favorite. It definitely is. I mean, it's our favorite too, but whatever. Yeah. But yeah, if Beyonce did something like that with Mariah, that could be epic. It just uh, has to be done properly. My only uh, hesitation is that we just did stuff with that. The, with, bunny, the bunny version. Yeah, but no one knows that. And the TikTok version. That's, uh, that's only us, girl. We, only we know that. <laughs> <laughs> the Beyonce fans don't know about that? No, they don't know about that. They <laughs> certainly do not know about the little bunny version. <laughs> from eight, Which actually I have, you know, because you, you could on the streaming it's on the streaming and it came on my shuffle the other day and it's i was like cute. this is so cute it's very cute it's very cute yes lovely lovely <laughs> <laughs> but anyways so maybe hopefully um you know mariah can uh go and get a remix with beyonce because that'd be great because people have been wanting them to work together forever well now now that i see it's doable it is doable it is it is absolutely doable yes yes um but you know speaking of our mariah fan friendly mariah friendly bar in new york in city. new york city mariah's coming back to new york baby big announcement big announcement this week here we go great announcement yes so we've been waiting yeah so the global citizen concert is happening now that's been going for many years now in mm -hmm. central park uh big i think jenna did it last oh, did she? before the pandemic oh probably maybe last she... year she did it i think it hasn't been pandemic it hasn't been pandemic either. friendly well, oh okay <laughs> yeah. Well, I maybe can't then. remember. I think they've taken time off. Okay. I feel like Alicia Keys is always doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she would. She's always doing it. <laughs> but basically, it's to help the world. Yeah. To raise awareness yes. of like sustainability mm -hmm. and global climate warming. change and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. Like, so, need to be aware. Yes. Uh huh. Anyway, so they have a big concert in Central Park. You buy tickets, the money goes towards. Mm -hmm. those things but there's concerts all around the globe yes too it's almost like a live eight sort of situation very much so very much so and um mariah is going to be headlining yes in new york city central, central park, park. <sighs> gaggy that's gaggy i love it i know i know i mean i'm sort of upset i'm not going to be in new york for it but same tickets are on sale already mm -hmm. and then it Previously, they sell out fast as well. So if you uh, if they're still there, get, get them. them, get them, while, and and reasonably priced. Reasonable, very reasonably priced. Yeah, yes, like one hundred and fifty maybe. Yes, plus you know taxes and Ticketmaster fees. So now it's like a thousand, but that's fine. Exactly <laughs> the fees and fees. <laughs> Just looking at the website fee, it, right? You yeah. you came Thinking to Ticketmaster.com. You thought about it, bitch. We're charging you. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> all those fees. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to be an exciting show because they have big other big names there. Yes. Metallica. Uh, uh, I mean, a blast from the past. Right. But then I was thinking, would it be gaggy if there was a Metallica Mariah crossover moment? I mean, I don't know what song. Uh, I don't know how that would sound. But. Hey, why is my brain going to check? I thought you were going to say enter the Sandman. No. No. 
Mariah's rock and roll album. Oh, that could be interesting. You know? Yeah, but you know, here's the thing. If it's not Divas Live, Mariah doesn't like to perform with other people. True. You know how we were yeah. all dying and begging and pleading and, you know, um, giving our lives for Mariah to perform Lionel Richie uh, and herself and Endless uh, Love? No, no, no. She would never. She was at the back door? No, she was at gone. the restaurant. Honey she, honey, she was home. Yeah. yeah. Left. Honey, she had changed the wig and everything. Yep. She was gone. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I just feel like Mariah wants to do her show and she ain't playing with nobody else. And she's out of it. But there's like great people there. Yeah. You, like Metallica could be something really good. Like we know Mariah can do a, a rock metal song like because she did bring it on the heartbreak. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is not Metallica, but you know, in the same sort of genre. Yes, yes. Um, we also have the Jonas Brothers. Jonas Brothers. Um, and I think she's very friendly with the one Priyanka's hosting it. Yes, she's hosting it, and then her husband is the Nick. Is Nick? Yes. Yes, her husband. Yeah, and we like him. And he's a Mariah fan. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe you know they could do backup for a Mariah song. Her, him, and the two little brothers of his could mm. do backup. I'm not okay with that. No, no. Uh, Cancel that. Why? Out. How come? How come? Um, those uh European boys can do against all odds, but the Jonas Brothers can't do. Um, We've moved on from those. Oh, we, days. oh, we're not doing boy bands anymore. <laughs> Is that how? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of against all odds and those boy bands, one of them was on the radio in Australia recounting a story. Yes. About how it all came about and how they went to Capri to record against all odds, mm -hmm. and then she went to Europe and they're hanging out. It was really fascinating. I think we retweeted it on our yes. Twitter mm -hmm. at the Mariah Report. Yeah, it's a great little story. Yeah. And it just goes to show how amazing Mariah is. Like, she's like... As per usual. Cool. Yes, yes. Yeah, we love it. Uh, so the Global Citizens also performing is Usher, Her. Oh. H-E-R. Um, SZA. Oh. That'd be fun. Is that really... Is that right? That's what it says. All right. Well, Mariah needs to get with those girls then. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Metallica. Forget Jones about the Jonas Brothers. Brothers. Forget yeah. about Metallica. I want I want her. And a bunch of other others. Oh, that would be tons of fun. It's yeah. gonna be a good show. Yeah, yeah. You take your picnic blanket, take some snacks. I mean, I will say I'm not down for like a big in the middle of a crowd thing. I mean, just because I'm tired. No, not because same. of coronavirus. I'm tired, girl. Yeah, yeah. You gotta carry your picnic bag all the way in the middle of the park. Then you got to like find a spot. It's probably muddy and dirty. They got bugs everywhere. It gets hot. It actually <laughs> it gets, gets really hot because there's no wind in the park. Oh, yes. Yes. I don't know. Because last time when I saw Mariah in the park for the Philharmonic, uh huh. Yeah. That was civilized because I, we snuck in to get chairs. Yes. I didn't have a chair. We, we snuck in. I forget how we did it, but we snuck in and we just stole someone's seats. Uh huh. But otherwise, you had to be over there. And I was like, girl, I just, that is just, I'm, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Well, for that reason, I was like all the way at the back where there was space. Because mm -hmm. you can't be like, you can't be up close and crowded. Because then it's too crowded. Yeah. So yeah. see how it's so complicated? But it's fun. It well, is. Well, listen, well, it's an like, experience. We're telling you these things now so you can be prepared. Yes. Get your ice water, mm -hmm. your fan, you your blanket. Find out where exactly you want to be sitting. Exactly. That's all. You got to take an all in, into the factor, all of this in. Exactly. But yes, that's going to be a great show. And we have not seen Mariah on the stage for two and a half years. Has it been since like the, what, caution tour? No, Christmas, because she, Christmas. No, no, even because she did right before the pandemic. Oh, yeah. She did like Vegas, three or four Vegas shows. You're right. So that was February 2020. 2020. So it's been two and a half Over years. Two years. Yeah. Girl, that's a long time. But actually, if you think about it in the terms of Mariah and her career, Mariah didn't used to be on the stage all the time. Mm -hmm. She would do a tour maybe every four or five years. Mm hmm. So like, you know, it's not, it's not been that long, but ever since Vegas started, it's mm. like, girl, I want you all the time. I want you all the time. Mm -hmm. And then when she gives us great Christmas shows mm -hmm. and then she gives us the caution tour, it's like, we've become so accustomed to seeing Mariah live on stage, mm -hmm. which, you know, when prior... she confessed to us on masterclass, it blew her voice out. Yeah. It's too much. So we're going back to the way it was. Yeah. Two year breaks. <laughs> Yeah, and the, and the other good thing about this Global Citizen is it's going to be streamed. Ah. So if you're not there, you know, with your picnic black ba basket and your blanket and all the bugs, uh, you can watch from the comfort of your home. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that true? 
It is. How do yes. you watch it? Girl, it's going to be streaming on ABC, the Hulu, the everything. You didn't read it? I just stopped at the Mariah <laughs> part. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you don't go beyond that. <laughs> don't need to know anything else. Yes, yes. It's going to be, it's going to be um, streamed live. So Yay. Yes, yes, girl. Yes. That's all exciting. That. So we'll all be able to see it. This it's global. She, this it's global. is what she needs to do is do these one shows where we can just all watch it at once. Mm -hmm. No need yeah. for a big tour. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, we do want like a little show here, a little show there, like a Vegas or like a, a lamb tour. A lamb maybe tour. a Christmas show here, maybe a Christmas show there. Oh, here's the word on the street. Oh, okay. Ooh, tell me. So because of this situation, the global uh, citizen. citizen, I forget what it's called. <laughs> Something called Global Earth. Um, People are saying new single vibes because of the magnitude. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So the concert is when? The 24th? Of September. Of September. We might have to pull out a calendar here and look at the dates. Does that fall into our mathematical equation? It, it might fall into our mathematical equations because Butterfly 25 is going to be like September 16th. Ah. So she could like drop something Butterfly 25 get you know get everybody riled up then she does her little you know global citizen so she's showing face and giving vocals mm -hmm. everybody can see it on their tv mm -hmm. and then she rides that and then christmas comes mm -hmm. and then boom new year new album that's the plan that's the plan but see now that we're talking about the magnitude of the global citizens i think i want my new single now oh you think new single then album after christmas uh, maybe not a new single, but she's going to give us something butterfly. So we might get something new. At Global Citizens. Maybe not at Global Citizens, but maybe streaming. I don't think she's going to uh, perform a new single. W okay, because, okay, we got to look at the history of Mariah's career. <laughs> like We got to go back. We got to start studying this stuff now. How many times has Mariah released a new single and as a performance? Only hero. Thanksgiving. Three times. Okay. Well, now it's the fourth. Okay. But I'm just saying it's just highly. You're unlikely. acting like I'm talking like it's never happened. No, I'm just saying it's very rare. It's very rare. And I think that Mariah um, would not not do that. But you never know. In this day and age, it just makes sense to have it on streaming today right now and then perform it on the day. Oh, I'm, I'm talking not, about today I'm, being the 29th of September. Yeah. Well, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm just saying. Is that something you would like? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to get it. I guess. <laughs> you're right. Thanks for bringing me back down to Earth. <laughs> well, it just, I mean, it would make total sense, but I just feel like maybe, but we're going to get something new from her around that time. Hmm. You know what I mean? We'll get something new butterfly related. It just might not be like new album is what I think. Do you know my brain just imagined? Hmm. Do you want me fun if she was on Global Citizens singing fantasy and then special guest Lado pops up and does a quick big energy and bounces out. So it's okay. more fantasy heavy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then a dip of Lado. The, yes, and she's the guest. Then. Yes. Mm -hmm, that could be cute. Wouldn't actually. that be fun? That could be cute. But she's on tour. So what city is she going to be in? With the, Is she oh. on tour yet with uh, Lizzo? She might be. But we, we can do maths. Maybe yeah, we can cross over. Listen. Somebody can work the dates out. Why don't we investigate that? Actually, actually, someone who knows math. Um, because or just dates. Because what if it's uh, the Lizzo Lotto tour and Mariah pops up over there oh, too? That could be good too. That could be good too. But we want Lotto to be the guest. On the Mariah show. On the Mariah show. Yeah, but Mariah can be the guest at the Lizzo show. Lotto show. Okay, well, we could do that too. We can do multiple things. Listen, we got a lot of things we could do. Yeah. We got a lot of things we could do. <laughs> There's so many possibilities. Um, and, and we are going to wrap up the show very sh shortly. But before we go, what are your um, desires for like a set list for Mariah? Do you think she's going to do a full set list? Like, you know, like 10 songs? Or do you think it's going to be more like five songs? Because she is the headliner. That's what they claim. If she's headlining, I want 60 minutes. Minimum. Min. Minimum. Yeah. So what do you think she's going to do? You think she's going to do Hero? Ugh. You think she's going to do My All? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, here's the thing. Okay, look at the, let's take the temperature of the streets. 
Right. What's happening in the streets? Beyonce is into house music. It's into Madonna's doing her disco remixes now. She just booked out the roller skating rink in Central Park. Mm-hmm. Madonna. People want to party. People want to party. We're out of the house. Yes. I don't want to soppy my old and soppy heroes. Yeah. We want to have a good time. Or, or, I mean, maybe she could give us like maybe one hero, but I want like, I want the big things. I want, uh, you know what I want? I want the fantasy like she did on the fantasy tour, the Sweet Sweet all Fantasy the big tour. Mega mix all the, the mega mixes. Of the remix. Uh-huh. So she could do the same thing with the Always Be My Baby. Wait, wait, where do it's that one- and yes. then dip Lotto in and out. Yes, she come up throw oh, yes, the lotto because like, you got seven different versions of fantasy. Yes, so then the lotto version of fantasy comes and she pops out. <laughs> throw that in. Why not? <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like she could do a lot of those medleys that she's been doing of the remixes and yes. things like with the "Always Be My Baby." But make it fun. But make it fun. You know what I mean. So everyone gets the song that they want, but they also get like a club version. Well, now my glitter medley back. Oh, we. Oh, yes. Well, throw that as always. And I want the new Lover Boy now. <laughs> No, that would be fun though. A new lover boy. Yeah. I would like that. Yes. That could be really cute. I know. Um, but yeah, I just hope the my overall thing is I hope she doesn't give us like a ballad heavy set. Mm-mm. Like maybe if she does like a really good vision of love, okay. Mm, I guess if, good. No, because sometimes if they're really good, they're really good. Same thing with hero though. Like if she gives us a really good hero, then okay, girl, we got you. I will take a hero. But not a vision of love. It was one or the other. <laughs> you can't have no one ballad, one ballad. That's it. Don't kill the vibe. Well, yeah, I, I get that. But you also, you know, you want to sing, you know, the classics. This crowd, the global citizen crowd, they're the kids. Well, that's true. She has to do a make it happen. Is that does is that worthy? Uh... It's not worthy. We, we well, you know she's gonna in. Pencil. pencil that in pencil, pencil. in emotions. Uh, she can do a good emotions. I don't want emotions, girl. You, what do you want? You're sing <laughs> all the songs. Uh, Those you are put me on the spot. That's why I'm like not agreeing to anything. Okay, uh, fair enough. But I think like more more of her up tempo stuff. Yeah, yeah. We want honey. Oh, definitely a honey. A touch my body. You know what? We're definitely gonna get obsessed ah. we're getting obsessed oh, God, watch us not get obsessed <laughs> uh, i think the kids like obsessed the younger crowd heterosexuals love i think they do because uh uh i came across one the other day and they said oh i love love obsessed <laughs> and i was like of course you do <laughs> <laughs> throw so, it in there yeah throw fine. that in there maybe sure. just speed it up a little bit you know throw a club beat onto it or something yeah, but not everything can be club. We got to, we got to, you know, not Slow everything it can down be a little. club. Like, you know, I think Obsessed is enough of a, mm. well, what if she comes out there with It's Like That? I could be okay with that. Okay, maybe. We came to have a party? Yeah, I think that yeah, could be okay. that could be cute. That, that could, could be, be cute. cute. That could be cute. Because remember when she did that, that AIDS fundraiser event, the red, I forget what that was, and it was like post that not great era. Mm-mm. Remember, she what was she wearing? Black. Tell me dress. what she's wearing. Then yes. I'll know. <laughs> um, black full length dress, and then she did the knee. She was bending down on her knees signing oh, autographs. Oh yes, 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 yes. That oh, was the banger. That, was that came out good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. turned out good. And it had like it had like uh down on the, each side. Like uh, yes, like almost like safety, safety pins. pins. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, dress. yes. Okay. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. So it worked for that, and that was fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it, it can work. It can work. It can work. Yeah, so I'm I'm thinking she's gonna give us the classics. I just don't want it to be ballad heavy. Mm-mm. So it's like that, honey, emotions. Um, that chick, I'm that chick would be cute. That'd 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 be cute. Yeah, she's gonna have to do "We Belong Together." Everybody knows it. See, every, that's gonna be the ballad then. That I'm okay with that as the ballad. Okay, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, officially. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm on the Jamaica version. Oh, well, you're not getting that because <laughs> this is on television. So she's not giving us any of that. Uh, um, but yeah, so if Mariah needs help with her set list, just watch this girl. <laughs> and be all confused. Exactly. And hate us. It's fine. It's fine. 
But anyways, all right, we're going to wrap up this episode. Thank you guys for listening and watching over yes. here on our YouTube channel. Don't forget, head over to YouTube and hit subscribe. We're almost at our goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. Yes, which, yes. Yeah, which is a big deal for us because we're new to YouTube. Exactly. So here we are just yes. trying to get a subscriber here, a sub subscriber there. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast app, please hit the follow button because uh, that actually has a big impact and helps the show grow as well. And then they also tell us when you don't follow. So we know you're listening. You oh, I was like, I was like, they do? Yeah. No, they do. Yes, they, they tell us. Like they say how many, like, is following compared to, like, who's just, like, listening. just listening. So please hit follow yeah. for us. That helps us out a lot. And that's it. Yeah, that's it, guys. We'll, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. The Marai Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Marks. Theme music created by e Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.